think we all realize that we're under a, a mandate from the Seventh Circuit to get concealed carry in place. The bill that Representative Phillips, uh, Phelps put out there was responsible, and it's just what we needed to get concealed carry in compliance with the uh, mandate that's been handed down to us. Could the governor have avoided this kind of an embarrassment? No Is doubt about it. No doubt about it. It was a compromise bill. He should have signed it. And here we are, the stroke of midnight tonight's the deadline to go over the cliff, and he wanted to uh, push us all this, you know, and he wanted to do it the same day that Mayor Bloomberg endorsed his opponent, Bill Daly. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It was all grandstanding, and uh, he should be ashamed of himself. Not only is it sensible, and, and it's been worked on diligently over these past several months, and not, and not years, but it would be irresponsible not to override the governor because then we would go in, it would drive us into constitutional carry and I don't think anybody wants that. I'm overjoyed that we were able to, uh, to pass the legislation in the House. Obviously we feel this is a very good bill, very complete bill. It was a bipartisan effort and uh, with 10 members not being here today, I think 77 votes is a uh, pretty convincing number. So very happy that this moves over to the Senate and uh, we just hope that it, it passes there. It looks like the governor is still trying to add some of his restrictions that he proposed. Do you think those will go anywhere? You know, I'm not sure what will happen in the Senate, but I can tell you, in, in my opinion, I don't think that looks very good in the House.